Hi, I'm Katie Evans. I love being here. Thanks so much for having me. Hi, Katie. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Good. How do you come up with the characters and names in your books? Usually I um, grab a name list from maybe, you know, one of the baby sites or I just start looking and the name just jumps out of me and I know it's the right name. It's just like this one. It has that energy. I believe in that. How names have that particular energy and so when it fits your character, you're like, got it. All right. Then um, how many drafts do you normally go through before releasing your book? Oh, many, many, many. My first draft is awful. I mean, not awful, it's the creative part, so you just want to get all the ideas down, even though you have tons of typos, and who cares, it's just yours. And then you go back in, start tweaking, fleshing out, getting your, you know, places, and so maybe six total, maybe seven, sometimes <laughs> ten. <laughs> you know, and sometimes I've even written the book completely like I finish and then I discover something in that first book and I'm like no this is the story so then I go and write a whole new book that's perfect yes <laughs> how do you come up with the titles of your books um, usually the titles come to me first or very um, along the beginning of the, the story usually sometimes I start the story because you know character and then discover the title but for example with real I knew from the beginning what the issue was what you know the hero wanted from the heroine and I knew from the start that the book was real what's been your favorite scene to write Ooh, I have so many I can't even think well I just finished Ripped, and it has a very, I don't even want to say what scene it was, though. Oh, yeah, no. Spoiler! Spoiler! No. <laughs> True. Well, you know what? I think I have to go back to Real, and that first scene when he reveals it, and we find out why the book is titled Real, and I love that scene. It's a very good scene. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is the scene that has made you blush the most? Oh, I don't blush. When I'm writing, no. I mean, right now I might be blushing, but not when I'm writing. I'm just like, yeah, go get him, Remy. Go get her. <laughs> what about cry? I do cry. <laughs> I cry a lot. I mean, when, well, I do write from the heart. Sometimes I just sit down and let it take me. Even though sometimes you have scenes that you don't use in the book, I write it. And I do, I do cry because well, my first three real series books are, you know, Remy's pretty broken and I feel really strongly about him. So it's just heartbreaking but beautiful at the same time. So of course I cry. Are there any unknown secrets about your characters? Maybe. <laughs> but I would, it wouldn't be a secret if I told you right now. It's true. <laughs> it's true. All right, is there any other fun information you would like to share? Um, well, no. I mean, the authors are behaving very badly in the Bell, <laughs> Bell Wheels bus. Uh, but don't worry, people. I will tell you all about it. <laughs> no, no. It's been just a wild ride. We've, ha we've been having fun. They're on their way to RT. I won't be making it this year, but hopefully next year. And it's just been an adventure. We all love it. Well, thank you for sharing thank with us. Thank you guys. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay.